Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Black and White Hack on Nuzlocke. Right, we have got to pick a team to somehow find a way to beat Alessa. Um, we've... I'm trying to think we've got what uh, encounters we've got left. We think we have Route 16 and Lost Lawn, so I think we'll catch them. But at the moment, I am struggling to find a team that can beat... Uh, that can beat her consistently. Or beat her with a... I guess, you know, without losing a team member, I should say. Which, Herdy is probably going to be a big part of that. Pig Knight might be usable, I think, because he's just that damn powerful. I think Scraggy's out. Bob's out. Daramaka might be in, just because of the fact he doesn't get hit with anything super effective. Sandile might be in for a good pivot. I don't know when Crocorock evolves. I think it's after. I'll actually have a look. Solosis won't be used yet. We're not. I'm not. Tap, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put Bubble Bud in. Oh yeah, what's Bubble Bud's uh, nature, by the way? That is a good nature. Only thing he's missing is a decent psychic move. Overcoat pr uh, protects the Pokemon from damage from weather. Oh, I hope. I hope we get past Alessa. I'm struggling, although, although, what's your defenses like? I can't remember, what's Solosis' defenses like? If we can, uh, if Solosis can take a couple hits and get charm, and get some, a couple charms off, maybe we can get out of it. But then again, Volt Switch, so, hmm. Problem with uh, Solosis is it's going to extrude all the, the whole line. I should say, is it's very powerful, very, very powerful, but its defenses aren't too brilliant. It's just got a, it's just, it's lovable. And it's, it hits like a brick, but it's slow and it's not incredibly bulky. I think we'll get our encounters for now. Because we, if I remember correctly, we did give strength to someone last time. I should heal. But yeah, the uh, Route 16 is um, think I'm thinking brain not working. Route 16 is like light. I think we can get Trubbish on Minchino now because it's exactly the same as routes. What's the route we've just been in? This one to the left of us. Whatever it is, Route 5, Route 6. I can't remember. They all sort of blend. I think it's Route 5. Okay, so Sandile evolves. Oh, is this guy not going to give me... F I, I always thought this guy, if you went across him, gives you fling. Oh, it's the Macho Brace. I must be getting my guys mixed up. Oh, well. Right. Now, from what I remember, which... I'm thinking, do I level up Sandile now if he doesn't evolve? Sandile would be okay as a pivot, but is he going to be good enough to actually deal some damage? Because say like, I get, it's great, it's a pivot to a Volt, to get out of a Volt Switch, but is it that good that it's, it, you know, say a Malga hits Aerial Ace, is it going, is it good enough to one outlast that? Probably not. Uh, yeah, just delete all that, delete, uh, delete that message, that'd be fine. In, fu in for future reference, if anything comes up like that, you have my full permission to just, you know, knock off the, knock off those messages. I've been getting a lot of them. It must be slipping through the uh, auto mod that I have. I'll, I'll check. I'll have a look at the settings after the stream. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, that I don't know if. Dundee here can hit hard enough for which justified. I think we'll give it a try. But it's just thinking of, it's 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 more thinking about like who can we use to get the best out of our team sheet.
Well, we'll raise Grim. Grim is also going to be probably going to be useful, so we'll try raising Grim and Dundee. It's just to keep that level cap down. Because obviously, level cap's 25, and we've got a couple of guys who are already reaching that. So Dundee's going to absorb this. I don't know why we get the EXP share in this game. I want to say it's further on than what I think, but it might be in Anvil Town. Oh yeah, we've also got a um, rival fight with N. Oh well, whatever you want to call the fight with N is. Doesn't strictly matter that much. It's going to hurt like a brick. Oh, hit like a brick, I should say. He's going to go for takedown again. That's not good. Um, that's not good. He's definitely going to go for takedown again. I need something that can outlast that. And there's really nothing, because I'm pretty sure that sturdy defense the chop has... Yeah. Hmm. Let's chuck in Cookie and sod it. It dies, it dies. Doing this for fun. Play the Intimidate game. And let's hope we're quicker. Whew! All those, uh... All those EBs coming in clutch there. I think that's the one trainer I have to worry about in this... At this point. Um... I... I was gonna say, did I not buy potions? I thought I bought potions. Oh well. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here that's going to strictly help us that much. Uh, there's the... Oh, this guy's here. I guess we'll take down this guy because this guy's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, The Pokemon here, I think we can get is Mincino and Trubbish, and neither one of those is going to help us. Is that back in Castellia where you get the XP show? I did not realise Dun uh, Dundee's stats with this... Oh, Dundee's moves were this bad. Uh, right. Well. I don't know if he has jump kick or high jump kick, so this could be a problem. I just want to get through these couple battles. In it. Or in it. In... Oh, okay. I'll have a look where the XP share is just in this game. Of course. I did not know there's two EXP shares in this game. Well, we have got up. We didn't. We avoided a lot of those trainers on Route 4. So. You can always go back. So he does have Brick Break. That's. Well. Love that. That's what I get for underleveling my dudes. And Moxie, one of my favourite abilities, because it obviously helps you out. Great. Thanks for that confusion, Bucko. I think, feel like we might be going into this with, like, Dundee... Herdia and Pig Knight just on a whim. He's eventually just going to have to break the Volt Switch. But we got to get our two encounters. One of them's coming up here. Great, we get the garbage bag.
I've never actually used Gar Garbodo, so I, I, I... Lovely. I get crit in the last one, and then I get crit poisoned here. Beautiful. Right. Well... Mm. Yeah, I've never really used one. I'd, lo I'd love, to, I'd love to try and use one, see if it's any good. I just don't see where I'd use it, strictly speaking, because you know, poison pre-gen six, not a very good typing. I mean, what does it actually, you know? Super, what's it super effective against? Super effective against what? Grass? Well, you know, the one type that's, you know, you've got every other typing that's common. That's odds more common than poison. That's super effective against it. Bug. Flying. Oh, anyway. Trubbish. The tra trash bag Pokemon. I still feel like I don't like the idea of a trash bag Pokemon. Like, Muck makes sense. Or Grimer and Muck, because that's sludge. Like, toxic sludge. You no, know, like oil, coughing's obviously like I don't, well, I don't know what the hell coughing is. It 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 excrete it it excretes toots, poisonous toots. And I guess this is a trash bag. I don't know. I'm a love. I I like stuff where when I when I'm thinking of a Pokemon that I would want to make, I'd be thinking of like okay, and it can it can be a Pokemon that's trash, as in like it can be a set of trash. But do I want it to be a literal garbage bag? I don't think so. I think that goes too far off the deep end for me. Oh, I was going to call you Trash Man. I didn't realize you were a girl. Well, we can have Trash Ladies. I could spell. I was going to say, can we have Trash Woman? Now, if I remember correctly, can't, although I probably can't, uh, I think Lost Lawn Forest is above where we are right now, or is it in the other? Is it in the other route, on the other other place that I'm thinking? Ah, I should not be in here. I'm in copious amounts of danger. I think actually it's in the it's on, it's on the other round on the other the other um, like the lighter route to get to Lost Lawn. So I think we'll grab we'll go back out and grab that maybe repel up as well just for the sake of it. I have repels, right? I thought I did anyway. Super one will probably do. And then just shove chop at the front of the party so I don't have to worry. Ah, I can escape. And heal. And chuck my dead my dead little fire dude in the bin. Cause, you know, crits and stuff. Just trying to think of a team sheet that I can effectively get across though. That's that's the big issue. Like we sort of avoided all the all the rock types. Like we avoided uh Dwebble, which is somewhat good for this gym, because obviously well any rock move is pretty damn good. Against this to against these guys. You, you had so much potential, Grim. I'm sure we'll get you in another run. Hmm. Well, guess you're up, trash bag.
was always annoyed at this game when you had a massive part of the game that you just couldn't go to. You know, that's ob obviously that you could get to. Like, or you could see. It's not like, say, um... Say like can't like say like the Johto games where you have a, you have the whole region and then you have another. You you just unlock the Kanto region as you as you know as you go along. It's more like this game you can openly see like this whole other section of the city that you or the other section of the uh, region that you can't go to yet. And it's stopping you and it always annoys me. Okay, he's got them all. This could be a problem. But I can somehow use his hand. Oh, if only I had a, if only I had a flying type now you'd be screwed. Well I guess I'm just gonna have to take it. Why do why did I go for Tom and then I thought I was faster? That was dumb of me. I'm not thinking today. I'm sorry. To, <laughs> I think I'm a little bit checked out of this uh, of this run. I like Drillver though. Good good guy. Happy guy. Drillbo must be incredibly fast for me to not be able to actually hit it. Okay, next time work up. See, like that gives me a bit of worry when Sandile gets hit that hard by a, a, by Dig. I'm like, if you get hit by Aerial Ace, you're, are you gonna get two shot? And then I have to worry. Alright, let's repel so I don't have to deal with any more wild Pokemon. Do I have a Pokemon with cut? I do not. Like, at the moment, I just want to get my encounters. I feel like they could have done more with some of these and some of these places, like these little, like, covert little places, because I can't remember Lost Lawn Forest at all. It's all like, is it, isn't it just like a patch? I can't remember what happens here at all. But it doesn't really matter, we're just looking for, at the moment, an encounter. Swadloon, okay, I can work with Swadloon. It's not particularly good for this gym, you know, with the flame charge and the air release, so it's pretty much the worst thing we could have got, but I can work with Swadloon. Well, looks like we are going with we are going with Sandile. Oh, I forgot that he's yep, I'm dead. <laughs> I forgot that you're dark type. Many mistakes have been made so far in this run. That is a that is amongst the biggest ones. Hmm. Uh, hi, fam hi, Fanberg. How you doing? Uh, I don't know how hard you're going to hit, Timber, so uh, go for a strength and we'll work our way from there. Yeah, I did see the emotes. Uh, great ball. Okay, if you're trying to tell me something, I am very literal in my thoughts. So it's an apple and a cowboy, and I'm trying to work out what that means. I'm clearly missing something here. I 
Oh, okay, not me. Yeah, they are. I will agree with you on that. They are cute. <laughs> oh no, well, we we when it when it comes to when it comes to the Brits, it seems like the the thing with all the like over the pond and abroad. Like I always, it always annoys me the the caricature of a Brit is someone who's got like really like yellow and crooked teeth and i'm like i, I mean it, it sometimes it sometimes gets to me because i'm like we're not none of us really look like that like we don't all look i i, I swear we all we do have you know orthodontists and people who fix teeth we, we do have the the power to use braces uh what do we want to call swadloon hmm well, it's going to become a Levani. What the hell is Levani? Uh. Hmm. I don't actually know what to call it. It's like a. I don't really know what it is. Is it meant to be some sort of like mantis? Hmm. I don't think I can fit Mother Nature. I can call it Gaia, which kind of works. But essentially, Swadloon is kind of useless. Because obviously we're dealing with... Uh, we're dealing with a gym that, you know, has... Two... Or has three Pokemon, all of which can hit that hit Swadloon for four times effectiveness. Being with it be by Aerial Ace or be it by Flame Charge. So I think we're going into this with Herdia Pig Knight and Sandile, and Herdia's gonna have to going to have to suffer. I think it's Aerial Ace. I think I I think I checked it the other week. I've got Aerial Ace stuck in my head for a reason. Because I was, I think, I think last time we were we were worried about it being, um, aerobatics. Yeah, that's what the moves called. I had to. I was thinking if I if I miss set miss uh, misspoke. Embargo. Oh no, my opponent can't use items, despite my opponent never being able to use items. Whatever will I do? No, no. <laughs> like I was being chased by a woman on a cycle then. Terrifying. Right, so we have to go and face N, and then we go, in, go into the gym, and then work our way from there. If we die, we die. We have made many mistakes along this way, but that's all that's all part of the cause. It's been close to over a decade since I played black and white, so I expected this. Is there anything I want to put in before I face in? I guess I can swap out some of these guys. I can put in like, I don't really want to put in Bubble Bud because it's Psy Shock and that's just a gamble and I can't remember what is actually there, but. Mm. I feel like Swadloon's gonna be useful and I have no idea why. I feel like Sandile would be a good use. It'd be a good counter against Sigilyph because if you can you can chuck it in on a psychic move, and then hit it with assurance. Even if you do, even if you do get hit with a flying move. Where's N? He? I was gonna say yeah. We have to face N before he comes out. Okay, that works. Looking for Team Plasma. Yep. I do love the the fact that they that they that they started making the gyms more 
are not an actual gym in this game, so they, they made them all with different styles. Yay, we're going in we're going on our first date with with M. Look at those graphics, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it beautiful? You know, just drops that on me. I am the king of the evil team that you want. Or the evil team that you've been trying to stop. Yes, Getsis asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon. wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Well, it keeps changing. It keeps ever expanding. And going off, you know, the su su success of Pokemon games, it's going to keep grow growing exponentially. No problem. Here to say the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I follow your logic. Oh, damn. I forgot how good this music was. Okay, so he starts with a sand dial. That works. That works. I can work with it. See what I mean with Swadloo? And Swadloo would have been okay here. Uh, I'm trying to keep my levels down, so I guess Bob's coming in. And then it's gonna slap the ever loving crap out your crocodile. My Pokemon look happy. Yes, he really does. He loves smacking um, crocodiles about. Okay. This is probably, like I said, we're going to pivot into Sandile. Well, he's, he's either going to go for Lucky Chant or he's going to go for a, probably Psybeam, I think Sigilyph has. Great looking Pokemon, by the way. Love Pokemon that are based on the Nazca, li on the, uh, Nazca lines. It's why I'm a, I like the, uh, the look of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well. That set of cards. I can't remember what they're called now. They're really, you know, nice looking. Despite being probably terrible cards from what I remember. Oh, air cutter. Brilliant. Well, that did more damage than I was hoping. Oh, well, that did a little bit less damage than I was hoping for. Um. Well. I've got one out. Please do not crit. He did. I'm faster, right? Nope. <laughs> well, guess this runs over. <laughs> I forget how uh, quick Sigilith is. Ah, well. Hmm. Probably take one. Gonna have to lose some guys here. Yep. Talks I've got underlevel guys, and I probably should have been leveling them up in earlier routes, but I didn't. Because I wanted to get all my encounters and then worry about it. But ah well. Okay, Daramaka. So I'm trying to keep my levels down, so I'd probably do something else. How many Pokemon have you got left? Lovely. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna have to replace Herdy with the trash with the trash man. Or the trash woman. Although that will also kill. 
Never mind. I remember this fight being a bit of a toughie, but I can't remember it being this bad. Probably because I don't have the uh, pre-knowledge of what his team is beforehand. Like I say, I only have a look at the gym leaders and the big fights. So, like, all the gym leaders and the champions. Because, you know, that would make sense. Like, you, you should... If you're a trainer in, Pokemon, in the Pokemon world, you should probably know what moves... Or what Pokemon that the the, the the Elite Four and the the, the the gym leaders have. That's probably like general knowledge. Oh for Christ's sake, Bob just hit it, hit through it. Come on. Atta boy. You're still a disappointment to me, but you claw some of it back every goddamn day. Ooh, chip away. I forgot this was a move. Look for an opening, user strikes continually. The target stat changes don't doesn't don't affect this attack damage. Uh well we've already got strength and I'm not that bothered. Oh yeah, I forgot they started doing this as well. Sure, Ren. It annoys me that you can't go on here again. Well, yeah, I think you can, but you, you go on with different people. It's never the same. Oh well, time to bury the doggo in the, in the, in, and, and the trash bag and somehow cobble together a team. I wasn't, like I said before, I wasn't expecting we were going to do exceedingly well with the team sheet we had. But now we are, we are screwed, big time. I'll just be taking that held item off you, good sir. Maybe I devalued Perline, I don't know. Maybe I also maybe I undervalued Perline. I'm not sure. Oh well, we'll try and make it work. I'll figure something out. It probably won't work, but oh well. Thus, thus, thus is the like this. This is the. I guess this shows the massive. This it shows. This shows the snowball effect a little bit. Where if I I screw up once, it creates problems down the line. But also the fact of, um, I guess this shows like how difficult he is when you just knock the levels a, f a little bit down from where like, say like the max level. Uh, I don't know what the Zeb Striker is. I want to say 27, 28. We'll see. You know what I've not been doing? And I probably should have been because I'm an idiot. Just suiting my Pokemon with excellent TMs. It's one of those. I'm so... Because I've played Pokemon for, you know, ages, and from the days where TMs were one use, when they switched over to being multiple use, I always forget that. Uh, Kin. Uh, Revenge from Fainted Ally. Fainted Free is. I Fainted Freeze is an early attack. Now it is better. Okay, I can work with this. Oh, that's a shame. Give me my fresh water. I feel bad. Yeah, you say like, oh yes, use the electric type attack. Or the, the use the ground type Pokemon, but really, what can you do against certain types? Also, love this gym, by the way.
just having a roller coaster ride inside of a gym lead. Inside inside of a gym. Makes it really cool. And an interesting way to have a gym lead have a gym leader or a, or a gym instead. Like I said, I really like the fact that they uh added like gyms were multi-purpose things now. So like so like Clay's 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 is obviously a mine. Why are they all higher level than me? Oh, please don't. Please don't. I really I really don't want to do that. Do you not have I could be wrong. And probably am. But do you not have another move? Okay, never mind. Stand corrected. It's just a bad one. I always liked him, Olga. See, that's the thing. Like when we talk about when we talk about Pokemon, I dislike and re I really like and really dislike it in in uh, the Pokemon games. Imolga, like, <clears throat> is probably the best Pikachu clone that they've made because it's so it, it, it plays on something else, but it still relates to you know Pikachu as a Pokemon. Like, because you think of the other ones that they've that they've made. Like, obviously, I get. Can we. Do we count Pichu in Generation 2? We can if you want. Um, Pichu's okay, I guess, but do you really need a baby Pokemon for. Uh, for a baby Pokemon for Pikachu? When Pikachu's. A, it, it, it's a middling Pokemon. I always think if you're gonna have a baby Pokemon. I mean, I mean I'm not big on the concept to begin, uh, to begin with. I think it's a bit. And I, I like a lot of the designs of the baby po baby Pokemon, but to me, if you're going to have a baby Pokemon, they should be m in some way to be more accessible to the Pokemon that they evolve into, if that makes sense. So, like, Munchlax is okay because, you know, it evolves into Snorlax, and Snorlax is a very powerful Pokemon. You know, um, I guess it holds up for, for something like... Uh, I guess it holds up for something like... You know, Magma or an Electivire with Elekid, who's my personal favourite uh, baby Pokemon, just because I really like the way it, um, they really like the way it attacks in the anime, because when it generate it generates ele electricity by spinning its arms, and it gets a little, uh, and its electricity like blasts comes from, comes from its two uh, prongs on its head. I find that cute. But like baby Pokemon like Igglybuff and Cleffa. And uh, I don't, I don't know. Like, it seems like, it seems like baby Pokemon were a gimmick, and then they just went out of fashion by the time of Generation Four, and now they're just a remnant of what was. Because they, they, they don't really have a use. Uh, well, that, that's the, that's my my well, that's what I'm getting at. Like, they don't really have that much of an incredible use because to me if you're gonna make a pokemon like that you should be making you're gonna make pre-evolutions they should be two very powerful pokemon that you should be getting you should be getting later on maybe that's just me but that's the way my brain thinks like i want to if i'm gonna make a pokemon it has to have a purpose whether it be a gimmick, whether it be, you know, whether it be to develop a, a line that needs, make, that needs bettering in some way because the first time didn't work out. Like all the Generation 2 Pokemon that have got evolution since because Generation 2 was probably the worst gen of Pokemon, despite, you know, a lot of people like Johto. I love the feel of Johto personally. I just love the designs uh, of Johto, but... When you actually look at the Pokemon that are in the region, and the game itself, like being non, being, um, being, you know, non-linear, it, it, it has a copious amount of problems. You know, the ba the bad guys being, I mean, I don't hate the idea of Team Rocket coming back and Archer, but it always felt like. What's your plot? Your plot is to get the boss back, who has been doing nothing for ages. Okay. So you're telling me that you're not the big bad. 
Way, way to create stakes, guys. Okay, so... I'm just thinking of Dundee right now. He's at level 24, and I'm pretty sure we have a fair few gym trainers coming up. Oh well. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I always thought baby Pokemon were a weird concept. And like, some of them are just like some of them I don't I don't even understand the con like what they were thinking at the time. But say something like um Azuril. What is the what is the point of making that a Pokemon? Because you don't really what like Okay, and it appears in Generation 3. I couldn't tell you where you get Azuril. I know you can get Merle in certain places. Thank you, my dude. Change that up. That's the only one thing I didn't like about this. You have to wait sometimes for the roller coaster to come back. And you, if anyone knows me fairly well, will know my main pet peeve in games is waiting. Now, some things you can't help but wait for. Others. Sometimes it can be a bit annoying. Oh, damn, this guy's got two Blitzels. Like, this is why I wanted Rog and Roller, though. He's a really good counter for a lot of those stuff, despite having, you know, a not very good um, special attack. You're gonna hit. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, you're gonna hit the dig, or do I have to press the button, or what? It's a two turn move, my dude. Rinse and repeat. And there we go. But yeah, I know I, I I just don't understand some some the creation of some Pokemon. Sometimes I feel like they're just to fill a gap. Maybe it's just me. Hmm. I never give my Pokemon swagger, because why would I give the opponent a, 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 a two, you know, a, a setup move? Swagger goes into that, that, that like, um, group of moves that's really good for the opponent. Not at all good for you. And now we wait. It's like real roller coasters where you get in line for ages. And wait to finally go on your turn. lover of roller coasters to be honest like I, 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 I it's not the fact of I don't like them and can go on and I have been on them in the past but it's more the fact of they don't do anything for me in terms of you know it's a one time event for me once I've been on it I'm not really that bothered about going on it again like they're interesting thing, interesting things but for the time you have to take to actually Get in, get onto the ride. It's a bit underwhelming when uh, it's a bit underwhelming when you know it. it, it, it it's very, it's a very fleeting joy you get out of it. 
Okay, so that's doing seven, so that's going to do 14. On the back rep, unless I can kill here. Which I would very much like to do. I don't think this will overlevel us, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, we're going to be swapping out next turn, provided we don't hit, but we do. Wait, she has another Pokemon? Whew, I panicked then for a second. Please tell me there's no one else. You said there wasn't. It's just a bit weird though that Aless is in a a roller coaster ride. Doesn't really make sense didn't really never make sense to me why. Like, you know, Clay is in a mine because he's a miner. Not like uh it, it just it just feels like a little bit, you know, weird. I mean they solved it in black and white too with the with making Alessa's like gym a runway for for models, which I was, I was like, that's pretty cool. It's a good revamp of the of the idea. I don't know what the black and white two gyms look like. I just know like the concepts. Like I've seen Bergs, or I remember Bergs being like cocoons, rather than his, you know, honey walls. And I, mem I remember um, Alessa's catwalk because it was one of the things on the trailer from what I remember from the game were because she has the she has a very different style. So what's the other two dudes? Are we going in with Solosis? I think we might have to. Because you're gonna get hit for hard times, you're gonna get hit hard, and you're gonna get hit and you're gonna get hit hard. So I think we're down to Bubble Bud. And if this run is on its ass, which it is, I and I'm and I don't see a other way out. I might as well use it. Cause I do love me some bubble bud. Let's just hope he has a Pokemon that's worth killing. I don't, yeah, I, I'm, like, like, to, to me, like, Gen 5, I have, like, like I've said before, I have a love-hate relationship with it just because there's some really good ideas for Pokemon and some really weird ones. Oh, wait, Psyshock is not the move I thought it was. Never mind, stand corrected. I'm going to shut up. I thought Psyshock was Psywave. That's why. You idiot. Yeah, I thought Psyshock was Psywave. Psyshock is the uh, is the one that it's a physical move rather than a special, despite being a special move. Turns out Bubble Bud actually has a move set. I can work with this. That though I can't. Although I do have Recover. Another one of my, another reason why Bubble Bud's one of my favorite guys. Big move, big, I think it has a good, a good uh, health pool in terms of stats. So I always love using this little guy. How close is Chop and how close is Dundee? Dundee's fairly close, but uh, we can work on that. But yeah, like you say, um, I love the Solosis line, and that's really clever. I'm not so big on the Gothitelle line, if I'm honest. But I, I, I get annoyed at Generation 5, because it had so many nice and really cool-looking Pokemon. 
and really nice additions to the team. And then you go have Pokemon like Timber, like Piddle, like like Pat Rat, that are just rehashes of all the Pokemon that just you know and they're not they're not particularly inventive. They're not particularly an addition. Like okay, and even with I I give Wubat and Swubat a lot of crap. And right, I, I believe rightfully so, because of the, the, they're literally a, a, a slight syllable change away from being the exact same Pokemon. Um, but you have, but to be fair, they did change um, Zubat and Swubat, uh, Swubat's typing to be Psychic rather than Poison, which I guess is something because we don't have a lot of um, Poison. You know, we don't have a lot of Psychic flying dudes. Strange that they decided to put another one in this game on top of the one they already made in um in Sigilith. But hey ho. But, but it just feels like they, like they were trying to rehash Gen 1. And in some ways I can see why you would do that at this point in, in time. There's also just Pokemon where you could have just done something different. You could have had a generic electric type instead of Pikachu that was around early on in the game. And it's Blitzel. And Blitzel's cool. We like we like our electric zebra with the with the spiky hairdo. You know? He has his issues. He evolves into something that looks ugly. I don't think we've seen Zeb Striker yet, but you know, look how cute Blitzel is here. Remember that guy. Because we're gonna see his evolution probably soon. And it's I personally think it's a just a a classic example of too much in terms of design. Okay, do they all have one Pokemon? Do I need to go to the desert to find more, some more dudes? Oh look, the Pokemon I did want. Love me some Lilligant. Even Petalil, to be fair, although it's not my favorite grass type in this game. Have to be, have to admit that it's not. Bingy, in this game, it's gotta be a... Um, my favorite grass type has got to be... Uh, I have a soft spot for Saw's book. Even though it's not that, it's not particularly that good. I, I just like the design of it. I, I, I'm a sucker for a, a cool-looking deer, and especially when it gets like these different coats. I don't know. I just find it cool. How close we now, Dundee? Getting there, buddy. We're getting there. There's some trainers around the left edge. We can do okay on them. Cottony. I was never really... I mean, I've never really bothered about it as a, as a Pokemon. I mean, I'm not... The only, the only time I've ever considered, like, I've ever talked about Cottony is more with Whimsicott because, you know, Prankster Whimsicott's pretty useful at times for, for certain roles in competitive. But, I, I, I don't, I, you know, it, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's an interesting concept on a Pokemon. It's not, you know, it's not brilliant. It doesn't really reinvent the wheel, but it's something different, and I can take that. Sometimes you need Pokemon like that. I'm hoping that because these I'm using these grass types, they don't give too much EXP. Just don't have to worry about Sandile over overleveling. And out we go.
but yeah, I like, I, I, I love, like I said, I, I feel like I'm being harsh, and I, I feel like I, I, I sound, I think I sound like I'm being harsh on this game, and I love a lot of black and white. It's just the fact that I'm, like, the, the main thing for me in, in any Pokemon game is Pokemon at the end of the day. When you've got 150 new ones, and I'm looking at the list, I'm going, I'd get rid of a, probably a third of them. You know, it doesn't really set up well, does it? Ooh, um, okay, and I am going to Mud Slap. And then I'm probably going to bring in a uh, Solosis just to be sure. I'll chop. Chop will do. Yeah, but I, I just look at like the designs, and I don't like. I don't. There's, there's always something that I can pick. I can pick out. But like, there's Pokemon I do like. I like Dar Daramaka and Darmanitan. I think they're pretty. You know, they're cool looking Pokemon. Weird and interesting. I like Dwebble and Crustle because it's something different. That's all I'm asking for. I don't think I'm asking for too much in my Pokemon game. To have a Pokemon that's, you know, or to have Pokemon that are different and not a rehash of something else. I don't think I'm being overly demanding. But sometimes it just feels like Pokemon is, some, is somewhat lazy. With uh, with the designs, or with what the Pokemon they they drop out, like like I've said, particularly in this generation, uh, particularly in this generation with Pat Rat and you know Pido and Rog and Roller and you know every other Pokemon that's just you know to me very generic. Uh, do we want to go around there? Yeah, we do. Get rid of those rest of those guys. I can't remember if you have Timples or not. I have a feeling you have Timples. Again, another one. It's a water... It's a water ground type Pokemon, which at this point we already had a, a lot of. Like, we had Swampert, we had Wooper. You can, you can list them off yourself, what the amount of water ground types. I feel like we had a few. We had a... I feel like there's another one I'm forgetting. Gastrodon at this point as well. Like, I feel like we had a... We, I feel like we had the water ground type covered fairly well. Then you made another one and you made a discount version of Poliwag with a face. Like, I don't... You know, I, why would be the answer? Or why would be the question? And it's not like Seismitoad is a in very interesting design. It goes from having a face to having somewhat of a face and weird little, more little nodules on it. And then just becomes a frog. Like, I don't see the design overlap there. Do you? I feel like you could have just replaced it with Poliwag and... In, in the po the polywag line, and we wouldn't have added this issue. Like, if you replace the pit of the pit of line with Pidgey, does anyone care? If you replace the Pat Rat line with Rattata and keep Lilliput, does anyone does, is anything of value lo being lost? I don't think so. You know, does I, 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 maybe it's me? I don't know. Right. Take a gamble. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's something to Rog and Roller's design. And I'm sure, like, I don't strictly actually mind Rog and Roller. It's what Rog and Roller is meant to be. He's just meant to be Geodude. And I just think Gigalith sort of sucks. Like, as a design, it's just a quadruped with the it's rocky it loses it the non-eye that the rock and roller and bulldog have but 
Yeah, uh, you know, I'm sort of left scratching my head. I'm like, what, what? I don't see the evolution of the design here. Put bu bu bubble bud in for another one and then switch back out two shot. Yeah, like I don't know. I just feel like they've got some. They've got really good. They've got the basis here for some really good ideas. Like instead of having B drill and Ledian and the, the the basic bug Pokemon, they went out on a whim and made Scolipede, which it may not be great, but it looks cool because it's a giant kick-ass, you know. Millipede? Centipede? I don't know which one it's based off of. I do apologize. Um, it, it's a massive one of them that looks like it could run through you. It's like a, you know, centipede slash millipede combined with a horse. It, and it, to me, it looks cool. Really wishing I brought roll out. I kept roll out now instead of tackle. There's another guy around here we can face. Put you at the back of the party just to be sure. And just check how close you are. Okay, so probably one more battle, top him off, and then we'll go get beat by a lesser. So I have no confidence whatsoever. Yeah, I just feel like there's great Pokemon, like, Sco I I'd love Scolipede. I love it. Leave Annie line, I don't mind. You know, it's something interesting, it's something different. Petalil and Cottony. You know? Cool. Come on in. No, even like Trubbish. I don't, like I've said, I don't particularly care for Trubbish because I find it, you know, having a Pokemon that looks like a trash bag a bit stupid. Without, so, you know, you're gonna have to, it, it, it's a bit like, it's a bit like, in a way, it's a bit like wrestling. You know, you can have the best guy, like, what I mean by professional wrestling. If you can have the best, the best wrestler in the world, you give that wrestler a stupid gimmick. No one's gonna be able to take him seriously. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a, a wrestler that that's that had a that, had, that was just really good and had a really bad gimmick. I don't know. Something like um, I don't know if people remember this, but uh, say like Kane. Everyone loved Kane. You know, Devil's Favorite Demon, Fire Comes Out the Ring Posts, Brother the Undertaker, so you've got that link that gets him over. Um, you know, Intimidating, lets him cut about the place as a demon. And then you've got, okay, but before that, Kane was, and I'm trying to remember his name exactly, uh, Isaac Yankum DDS, which was, if you don't know, he was meant to be an evil wrestling dentist. Now, Kane, in his career, I believe was a multiple-time world champion. I don't think Ka I don't think uh, Kane would have been a multiple world-time world champion if he'd stayed as the evil dentist character. Doesn't really, you know, build affinity with people and fans and stuff. And I guess the same comes with when you're when you're designing stuff like this. You have to design Pokemon that people are going to like and remember and cherish. And you know, you do that by making them individuals and making them interesting. And even if it, even if you know, even if a Pokemon in a certain line is a is a bit generic, at least the at least they might remember the Pokemon, that one Pokemon in the line that's, you know, that's not generic, that's 
somewhat interesting. And they'll remember that Pokemon, it's pre-evolution from that. Right, fellas, I'm just going to be taking your held items. Well, time to put up our shut up now, isn't it? I need to figure out what stuff I'm giving my my dudes, because I can't remember. Uh, strictly... What we can do with these. Uh, technically if I wanted to, and you, you can do this, it'd just take you an exceedingly long amount of time. It, technically, if you, you can get uh, the, you know, the gems that are broken in this game, um, you could technically get those at this point in the game. You can go to Wellspring Cave and get them that way. The problem is, obviously, it's randomized, so you will take a copious amount of time trying to figure out what, uh, what Pokemon or what, um, what gems you need or what gems you could get. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you don't have food, Shoxy. You see, this is why I always, I always, uh, I always eat probably like a couple hours or an hour usually before I stream, just because I don't want to be caught here and then go and then have to like end the stream. So I'm like, I'm hungry. I need to leave. I always prepare. Also, I'm not, I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of people eating on stream. Or like the sounds that some people, you know that that that, that sound with like the the lip smacks and the and the voice uh, like the, you know what I mean. This this the people people eating food. No, I can stand it. It's just no, you know it's not something you really want to hear. Well, if we're going out, we're going out in style. The free Pokemon I don't actually terribly hate. I mean, I'm not a big lover of Pignite at uh, the M ball, like M ball Pignite design, but it's you know compared to some of the other Pokemon, it's not terrible. Okay, and what do we have, and what can we use? I don't feel like there's anything, I mean, no, I'm not, there's no thing of getting Cherry Buried here, because none of his Pokemon I don't think have, well actually no, there is the chance that a Molga could use Static, I guess that'd be a problem. I guess I've just got to play the game and go for, uh... I've got to go for the, uh, the, the heals, I guess. You can go for the Eviolite on Pignite, because he's going to be taking probably the most damage out of them all. I guess I could give the Cherry Berry to... Solosis, because it can heal on its own. I'm just spitballing, because we don't have... Personally, for me, I don't think we have a Cat in Hell's chance of winning. But, uh, you never know. We might be able to pull something out. Just deciding who we should start with. Well, we're gonna lose. May as well lose any. May as well lose in style. Definitely prefer Alessa's redesign in uh, black and white to the way they change her up. This thing's gonna go for Aerial Ace. I wonder if we can just, we can just get okay. That's interesting. Please don't tell me I'm going to look out on the fact that I'm going to do this again. That's why we went with the Eviolite because it boosts our defense. So we're a bulky boy. I swear to God, if I win off this, I'm not going to be a, not going to be a happy bunny or a happy pig. Oh, 
Oh, no, never mind. We got our spared. Just doing a speed tap. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, and we got a chance, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> cool. Did not think we'd be surviving, I'll be honest. I mean, this, I get, if anything, this just shows the power of work up, fl work up and flame charge. Uh, well, I'm hoping this thing doesn't have pursuit. There's probably a good old chance he's going to go for an electric move or quick attack. So... Here's hope he goes for an electric move and goes for something like Volt Switch. Just goes to a quick attack. I knew he has it because obviously um, my I, I know my uh, I know my uh, I think he has one. I think he's definitely gonna go for Flame Charge now. <laughs> I don't think I would have killed Zeb Striker if I if, uh, did. So I, I wanted to go for the. Uh, Wanted to go for the switch. But this way, if it, if it cannot speed a Molga, I don't think it would have outsped Zeb Striker. Well, that thing's going for a heal. Oh, yeah, bear in mind, Zeb Striker, ladies and gentlemen. How to ruin a perfectly good-looking Pokemon. Now, I can't remember. Do you have two Hyper Potions? I feel like you have two. And I don't want to go for Dig again. So I don't want to lose my boy. But if I don't, it's going to suck. So I... You have a hyper potion. Does do, do, does anyone know? Do they have two? So if I can get out of this, I'd I'd like to get out of this. So he's gonna go for most likely spark or volt switch. Not spark or volt switch. Flame charge again. Well, time to find out if he's got a hyper potion. I'll take the gamble. I think we're going to have to lose someone here. Someone's going to have to take the hit for us. I think it's going to have to be Dundee. Because Solosis is going to have to come in and take him out. Because Chopped, paralyzed, and screwed. I am genuinely surprised that we've won this. I'll be honest, I did not think we could. Never mind, <laughs> we did not. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Don't you, just, don't you just love it? Ah, well, I was. this was the expected result. I did not think that I would be able to survive that long. We got lucky because of Imolga's pursuit anyway. But I, I, you know, say we had a bulkier Pokemon there that could have taken Spark, we could have won that. It doesn't really matter. Um, well, it does at the end of it, but hey, it was fun. I, I, I went in with no hope. So... It is what it is. I was survived. I was surprised we got that far. But hey, we made some we made some issue. We made we made a meal out of this run to be fair. There were so many problems. Like I, the fact we got timber instead of petalil. Uh we screwed up on a bar I mean we screwed up on a bide. Uh not really bothered about that. We I forgot that what a, was it timber we lost this on? Yeah, timber, we forgot timber had guts. And then these were just leveling issues. Um But hey, I've enjoyed it. And I think after like a, a while, I'll be t I'll, I'll try another run. I did plan I did plan this out. A, I think about a year ago on like the the, the basis like the pre the preface of it, and then I left it for a, a while. And it's not like my other ones were 
It's not like we're, yeah, uh, Tim Brad Guts, yeah, thank you. Um, and it's not where, like, I had, I'd, I'd done my prep. Like I'd done with the, uh, the Emerald or the Fire Red ones. I just wanted to get into this because I wanted something, you know. I've not been on it, I've not been on in this game for ages and I wanted just to get into it. It's been fun, I've been, it's been nice talking about my pins about the, about the Black and White series. It's a shame we, we can't, uh... We can't go, f we, we couldn't go all the way, but um, we'll be back, and I'm sure next time I'll be switched on, and I'll be paying attention, and will not make the stupid mistakes that I remember, and I'll remember, uh, you know, some, the biggest thing I can say about Nuzlocke is it's all about game knowledge. Um, like, knowing a Pokemon's ability and knowing a Pokemon's moveset helps so much when, in just random battle, random one-off battles where, you know, if you know a Pokemon's got counter, you know, you can play around it then, and you, you don't have to lose a Pokemon randomly. If you know a Pokemon's, you know, a Pokemon's ability, and how it would affect it, like Guts, you can play around that, and then you don't have to avoid, and then you don't have to suffer the consequences, because when you do suffer the consequences, it becomes a snowball, and then you end up losing all your Pokemon, and by the time you get to a hard fight, where you don't, where you, you know, you've made all your mistakes, you end up suffering like I did. But, nonetheless, it is what it is. I think we'll, uh... I know what I'm going to play after this. Uh, I've been meaning to get her back, back into it, which will be, uh, the... Uh, you, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom uh, doing Kyber's run. I've been putting it off, but I, I think it's time we brought it back. Uh, I think it's, uh, and, and to be fair, I'm excited to get back into that as well. So, uh, but for now, people on Twitch, we're going to go over after a little tiny break to play Uncharted 2. Uh, and for the guys on BitChute Rumble and uh, BitChute Rumble and YouTube, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was all streamed live on Twitch. If you want to watch live and interact like I have been doing today, you are more than welcome to. There should be a link in the description um, of every video that I do to the Twitch channel, as well as any other platform you wish to watch me on. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff that, you know, helps me in YouTube's algorithm, uh, as well as BitChute and Rumbles for that matter. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching one final time, and bye bye